Sets in 1979, this movie tells a story about a group of young filmmakers who set out to make an adult film in a rural Texas. When their reclusive elderly host catch them in the act, the cast find themselves fighting for their lives. This movie is a throwback to 1970s horror, particularly Tope Hooper's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Though it has something to say on its own, this movie actually runs thick with home age. Its influences extend well beyond 1970s slashers as well, including Alfred Hitchcock's movies and Evil Dead alongside many others. All of these influences sometimes feels like lazy substitutions for creativity. The premise is as straightforward as horror movies can get. It's relying on a familiar setup and even taking it to racy extremes. The movie certainly dabbles in exploitation, happily indulging every lusty smaller frame we see of the movie within the movie. Having said that, to be fair to the filmmakers, they are actually trying to do something different here. Apart from the promise of a genre deconstruction, there's a clear effort to play as a commentary on filmmaking and an analysis of newer versus older regimes. It offers some intriguing ideas, especially in the first half. Unfortunately, the movie doesn't have a clear point about the themes it's trying to say. It ends up cloudy at best. There's also debate over conservatism versus liberalism, but it doesn't really come off well. When all hell breaks loose, the movie turns into the usual slasher tropes with all its cliché. All the characters fully embody their stereotypes, making increasingly stupid decisions as they are picked off in largely predictable ways. The movie has tense editing that works enough to create an effective mood that leaves viewers always ill at ease. Unfortunately, it could not sustain that feeling for its full 105-minute running time. Much of the last third of this movie relies on shock value and gross-out gags. The action-packed climax is passionless in its execution, consequently rendering the old woman Pearl as a slasher villain every bit as blank as other standard slasher's villain. As a slasher movie, there are some of the kills that are unfortunately uninspiring while some characters meet their demise in ways that will make audiences cackle with glee. Other deaths feel a little underwhelming, either in concept or execution. Overall, this movie has an interesting idea. Unfortunately, the main theme is not explored enough as the movie falls into the usual tropes. We do not recommend to watch this movie in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.